Hello, this is Dennis with Whitehorse Media and Recording, and we're going to be showing you how to use your KISS PHP 1.0 control panel to embed a Google Calendar into your website so that people can easily get to your uh, all your calendar and booking information. And what we're going to do is use a Google Calendar uh, account that's already been created. Now, if you haven't created one and want to hit and already set up your uh, calendar, you can find the link to where to sign up for that on our resources page. Uh, near the bottom Google Calendar. Click on that and just follow the instructions and tutorials at Google Calendar to get that set up. It'll walk you through everything you need to know. We've already got one set up and I'm going to jump over to Google. I've got it open in another tab and I'm looking at the calendar we want to work with now. If you had more than one calendar you would select it from this drop box here but this one just has one. So once you get there you want to click on settings and then uh, click on the actual calendar that's listed here that you want to work with. There's an area as you scroll down called embed this calendar and you can just copy this this text here and paste it if you want to but we're going to rec resize it because the uh, the region of our web page if you make it too large it won't show you know you have to make it fit the editable region of the web page so we're going to resize a little bit here's what it looks like and we're going to actually resize it to about a 550 width in pixels and about 400 would probably look pretty nice um, so yeah, we can see that it's going to be about the right size for our website. And all these tabs and options up here, you can select whether they use those or not here. Like for example, the title, if I'm going to remove that, I just click the button and it goes away. I like all the stuff on there. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to click Update HTML. And as we're doing this stuff over here, it's creating the, the HTML code we need over here to make it show up on our website. So all we're going to do is highlight all this HTML code when we get it looking like we want it to. Copy this. And then we're going to jump back over to our page go into the in the control panel go into the content areas and then of course the page we're going to work on is the extra page it's in the second page of listings here extra page click edit okay and here's the stuff that's currently on our extra page we want to uh, select that and hit delete to get rid of that now we're if we paste it in here it's going to think it's text and just show this code on the web page we don't want that we want to actually we want it to know that it's HTML code we're pasting in there so we click on source and you notice all this gets lightened. That means we click here and then control, hold down the control button and click the V button. This pastes that information in there. Okay? Then we'll click source to get back to our other listing. And it doesn't show us a preview here. It says you may not have Java uh, installed, but most browsers do. So that's a, a little error that it has. I want to center all this stuff on my page because I want the calendar to be centered. So I select it all, hit center. I think I had to hit it twice. And it centers the stuff here on my page okay so I'm just gonna save this information here and it should show the correct thing on our website we'll go back and I'm already on the extra page but I'm gonna refresh it by clicking the link again and as I do you'll notice we're on the extra page and there's our Google Calendar people can interact with it go from month to month click on the individual items and uh, get more details which kicks them over to the, uh, the actual Google Calendar uh, opens it in a new window, all that kind of stuff. So fully functioning and you can also when you're setting this up the size of it on your Google Calendar page you can also uh, set up the color too. So you've got you know, background colors that you can choose you know for it changes the top show you US holidays all that kind of stuff is able to do in there. So a lot of things you can do with Google Calendar it's, it's very helpful very easy to use on your website and that's how you set it up using your KISS PHP 1.0 uh, control panel